Give me more chili. Give me more chili. So it's day three of the vegan challenge and I'm starting to feel, you know, slightly different in the morning. I don't feel as tired, I don't feel as luggish. Maybe it's all in my head, maybe it's a, uh, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, fragrant because I know I'm doing this, maybe I feel better, but you know, honestly, I, I don't feel too bad in the morning. I used to feel, you know, I'd wake up and I'd go, oh, where's an energy drink or, you know, some form of caffeine where, no, now I'm not really feeling it. Maybe it's a diet, maybe it's a psychological thing, but anyway, I'm feeling a change, which has to be a benefit. But it's breakfast time and <laughs> Joanna left a lot of uh, what she made last night. So, time to dig in. Uh, I didn't want to embarrass Joanna too much. But this is really, really good. And I really say that sweet potato is a nice meat substitute. The best way I can describe it, when it's been boiled for about 20, 30 minutes, it has a kind of like, like a lamb, like a lamb consistency when it's, like lamb's very like flaky and um, eat like, you know, it kind of easily breaks off the bone. That's the best way to describe the way this sweet potato is. I'll try and uh, get her to link the recipe in the um, in the video description. Try it out, really good. And it's really, you know, fast and cheap and easy to make, so bon appetit. On the hunt for somewhere new. Uh, so, what have I learned? So, uh, kind of every day is becoming a school day when kind of being a, uh, an amateur vegan. You're always kind of learning, always researching, always learning more. And something very, very interesting that I read last night was from a Nobel Prize winner, Elizabeth Blackburn. She wrote a scientific paper. I'll link it in the description. I'm gonna try and simplify it as much as possible. I, in no way a scientist, so please feel free to correct me if I say anything stupid. So let me say. So she found that being completely strict vegan for about three months starts to make changes in the body, makes changes to about 500 different genes that these genes then kind of turn on <laughs> genes that prevent disease and turn off genes that cause diseases. I mean, I'll link the paper, you can learn a lot more. I have no way a scientist, so check the link if you'd like to learn more, but I found it interesting. Okay, so I'm looking for a place called Kravashiva. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. If I did say it right, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up. If I didn't, please let me know. So we're here. Let's go check it out. The inside was clean, modern and welcoming. Now the menu was written in Polish uh, above the counter where you ordered but all the staff spoke a great level of English and they were really helpful in explaining to me the different options that were available. So I decided to go with the chickpea burger and when you order a burger there are options to add things onto the burger. And what really stood out for me was there was vegan cheese and vegan bacon available. So I thought, hey, what the heck, let's try it out. And I was surprised because even vegans complain about vegan cheese. But this was great. I mean, on a burger mixed with the sauce and the vegetables and the chickpea, you know, you didn't really stand out. Maybe like, you know, normal cheeseburger cheese would stand out. But, you know, no complaints. I enjoyed it. The bacon was good. The chickpea was really enjoyable. The only one thing I would mention is these burgers are huge and they are packed with everything. So they can be a little bit messy. That's just something to think about. I wouldn't recommend this place for a first date. You uh, don't want to... Really, really recommend the place. Absolutely some of the best stuff I've seen in a long time. Really nice, the food was amazing. It was my very, very first time that I've ever had a vegan bacon and vegan cheese, but you can find my full review in a link in the video description, where I'll go into more detail of everything I had, how much it was, and go into the menu in more detail. Okay, I'll need to little be a bit quieter than usual, because right now we're hosting a chess event.
but I've had a really crazy busy day and I've not had any chance to eat or cook, cook anything yet. And now this is a problem of being a vegan in a country where you don't speak the language. So right now I'm in a cafe and the staff don't really understand what's in the food, they can't really explain. So I guess for now I'll need to starve and enjoy some more of Joanna's cooking when okay. I get home. So, another long day done. This is uh, slowly becoming a day in the life of uh, Warsaw Social. It's been an extremely long day. I know I promised that today I would cook, but today I had to wake up super early. I had to edit these videos, I had to write all the reviews, I had to get everything in order. Then I had a really huge event. So again, uh, today we're going to be finishing Joanna's extra special vegan chili con carne. Thank you very much, Joanna.